What's up? It's Emmy from the ET Reviews here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 7 on your iDevice. So here I have my iPhone 5. As you can see it's on iOS 7. I have a review of iOS 7 in my previous video and uh, you can check that out and the link will be up there. So the first thing you want to do is um, go to this site. The link will be in the description below and uh, choose your model. It's iOS is available for iPhone 4 and upwards, so I'll choose mine, it's the iPhone 5 A1429, I'm in the UK, and uh, I've downloaded it here earlier on, so what you want to do firstly is go connect to your phone to your iTunes, and then um, um, what you want to do is basically just restore your phone back to normal, and uh, if you are already on iOS 7 and you've been blocked for your ID, I, UDID um, you will need to download your IPSW file which is like me I've downloaded my 6.1.4 IPSW so what you want to do is on Mac you press alt and on Windows you press shift and press that down and press restore iPhone and there you click yours and there you go There's, it's going to extract the software now and I'll just show you the steps through it on my phone the phone will be on still, so you can still do whatever, but be ready for it to turn off. So here guys, you can see on the screen, it's put the iPhone into restore mode, and there is the Apple logo. It's going to prepare it for the iOS 6, uh, yeah, iOS 6 restore. So basically guys, all you need to do is just restore it back to normal settings, and then once that's on, you don't want to go through with the startup screen. Um, make sure you don't, you can slide it to unlock but don't go through with it and because uh, that's part of the process. So I'll just cut back to you when it's up. So here we go guys, the iPhone has restarted and on here it does say that the uh, that it's done. So basically on the iPhone right here it's restarting. You can disconnect it but keep it anyway just in case. There, it's just going to go through the loading there. So here we go guys, on the iPhone itself, it's got the start up screen now. Uh, what you want to do is, just you can um, on the iTunes, it'll come up as uh, saying a new iPhone. I'll just set it up as a new iPhone anyway, but for you guys, you should really back up from back before, but you don't need to restore it back. And then the next thing you want to do is, don't go ahead with this process, just leave it on this screen. Press um, continue. You can slide, you can unlock it there. That's the only thing you do. And then you press get started on your uh, iTunes. Next, what you want to do is press Alt on your Mac or press Shift on your Windows. And then you want to check for update here. And you want to click on your iOS 7 IPSW file that you downloaded earlier on. So let's just do that and it'll update it and then on your phone it'll keep on and then until it's extracted your phone will restart and then a new loading bar will come up with the design of the iOS 7 uh, scheme so I'll just cut towards that so here we go guys you can see on the screen um, is the loading bar and then I'll cut to it once it's done so guys as you can see on the screen it says the iPhone has been updated and it will restart and your iPhone will restart the new Apple logo will come up and then uh, really you can just switch to your iPhone now and I'll show you how to set it up so here let it load just a few Apple logos will come up and then your iOS 7 start screen will come up it'll come up with the hello in many different languages so there you go, there's the white on black Apple screen, sort of like a Mac, it has the top and bottom, there's the hello, then you just slide to set it up, there I'll just choose my Wi-Fi now, type it in, and then you enable whatever, you can restore it from your iCloud backup from your iOS 6, but I'll just set it up as a new iPhone anyway, I'll just, I'll skip signing in with my Apple ID, but you guys can do it. Uh, I'll do that later. Agree with the terms and conditions. Of course, we say read it, but whatever. And then uh, use Siri. 
actually I don't like sending the diagnostics and then it'll say welcome to iPhone and there you go guys there's your iOS 7 um, everything works on it and then uh, so there you have it guys that's how you get iOS 7 without the UDID registration so if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and also check out the other videos on our channel is the new multitasking app now as you see it looks a lot like a jailbreaking tweak but they've made this standard now it looks really nice it's smooth even on this developer uh, edition it's very smooth